All right, guys, exciting day today. I'm in the UFC Performance Institute with none other than the legend Frank Mir. I am the danger, I am the boogeyman, I am a stranger. If there is a miracle, I am the pain, a big in the spirit you never can tame. Let's go. There is no savior. Just He's been me. kind enough to say I can come train with him. He's going to run through a few things with me. Uh, this is an awesome opportunity. I watched Frank fight so many different times, you know, him versus. Uh, Brock Lesnar, fun, fun fights to watch, but um, this is a real, real honor to uh, be in here with Frank, and uh, I can't wait to absorb all of his knowledge today that he's gonna give me. Yeah, it's gonna be super hard to guillotine you, and, and if you go up high, it's almost impossible. Okay. You know, if, if Ace shoots on me and he drops, oh, I'll guillotine me. If I guillotine low, or shoot low, he can guillotine me. Anytime I grab a high crotch, if as long as my head's up, it's super hard to, it's more difficult. But you are open for it. This one's a simple one, a head inside. So your right ear will go to his chest. And then I'm still going for that. Yep, you're still connecting your hands, and bring, basically you're putting your crotch right to the spot. Okay. So now go ahead and loosen up with your hands. Try to bring your hips closer to him, and come up higher to your ears on his chest. You should feel much stronger here, right? So now, just drive your hips forward, and you'll just straighten out. That's what it should feel like every time. Then you go down. No, that's exactly it. picked up like that. I went to grab him, I was like, this is a... I'm gonna just fucking show this to somebody else. <laughs> you can see where my ear goes. Boom, boom, I'm coming. I'm almost right under his face. And then I can S grip. Or, so we call this an S grip. Got it. This is a gable grip. Got it. Just make sure that you know the bottom hand, the right, the, the hand on his ass is on top. Got it. So you just lead with it. So whenever hand's on the top, it's here. So you can go here, and he's gonna pull, and I'm gonna straighten up and get straight. The advantage of this one is it puts me in my greatest range of power, which is the extension. Yeah. yeah. So I'm here. So I'm almost like headbutting. I got my head right under his chest. My shoulders connected. I'm grabbing, and my first inclination. I'm pressing here, then as I like step, I then can do the lift. How's it feel being the smaller guy, huh? It's nice Sucks, to see huh? I was like, I'm officially now not the strongest guy you've ever rolled with. Yeah. And so that that's over now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now they see why. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you know what the strongest feels like, right? I mean, like nothing can surprise you have to train with him. You're like, all right. And like anytime I put someone on defense, I want you to have as many windows to worry about as possible, right? So I tell everybody, I'm like a thief and you're in the house, you got four windows, you gotta shut, but you only shut three of them. One window's always open. Sure. Your job is to know what window opens up is easy going that way. Oh, you're going that way, I know what's gonna happen up. I'm already beating you at the pass. Got it. Intense? Yeah, that's no, so why I'm gonna help you with this. Watch that body. So, this is the technique to help you really learn put your left foot forward because you're fighting right handed. Your opponent's right handed, right? Yes. So, I'm going to throw the right hand and I'm gonna step behind the knee. So, if he pulls on me, this is another thing you can do. But it also teaches you really, like, it really shows you how important the thigh is. Okay. So, if we're here, if I throw a right hand and he pulls his head away from me, I don't do it you feel. So, right, this is all leg. Okay. That's, so, now, the head inside is leg and hand. Here, okay. just leg. So if I'm fighting, if I throw a punch and you pull from me, sure. you feel powerful. I love it. That's, that's crazy. So that was my power yeah. going here. So you're pinned, you're pinned as well there. Yeah. So you can't, you can't take a step back. That's the goal. The, ideally, I try not to. You, you started to fall, I had to go with you. No, I try not to. Yeah. I'm stepping, I'm holding the thigh and I'm pushing against them. So now see how this straightening motion takes him down. So that's why I put my hands here. He's really going up and over. So this will be, we'll go slow and like, like I missed. Yep. Right. Go here. Nice. That's it. And then end here. You have to go right between the legs. So then. You know, just go between the legs on this one. This, the other thing is your, your shoulder is on this side. Connect yes. between the legs. Let go of this hand. Connect. Yep. Now go ahead and. Now, sometimes. You'll blast this way. Okay. If somebody doesn't fall down on the initial blast, then you'll step in and take him down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be 
<laughs> so we would direct then just straight back. Got yeah. it. So feel like this, I throw the punch, I grab, on the initial grab, I'm like hitting him with my head trying to take him down. Some guys fall down this way. If he doesn't, he's still light enough that then I can step up and finish the takedown. Going in, once you, once you cover that ground, to get in. Are you always trying to go for that, that leg? Well, what I do on, is usually, like, yes, I start off, well, you attack the lead hip first. Okay. And then you make it see where the go from from down. Got it. Usually I attack the lead hip and then just go to an underhook. Because I prefer, my, me, once I go here, I prefer to come up here. Because I can lead, and then once I head pinch, I feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want, we'll do some little rounds where we rotate a little bit, break here. Got it. We'll come back, I'll show you the head pinch. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna fucking like murder people that you want to. A head pinch means that <laughs> I have an underhook. Right? Most people do this, right? Yep. I'm gonna connect my hands and do this. So you're just putting your oh, so I'm like, yeah. As long as this arm is here, yep. then I can start pulling you out. See, I'm pulling your head off balance. Yeah. And you're you're in control of that, so I would I would be in trouble with that. So and that's and that's getting under here. Yep, yeah, here. And then here. Watch now. Put this elbow on my chest. Palm up or face me like you look at your hand. Clasp your hands behind my head. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Now watch. Bring your chest and bring your hip to this knee and, and walk in a circle. No, the other way. Walk to your left. Yeah, see. That's like cranking me over. So show me the choke you have now, because you have one finish right now. The head and arm, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, I'll go first. Yeah. No, I'll do first. it. I want to feel it. I'll watch you. That's how you said it. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. I had something oh, right here. He's not learning how to pull. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. There we go. That was great. Yeah. So, Brian, yeah. I think that Joe. Yeah. Take a breath. I'll show you on it. Okay. You just feel the difference. Okay. All you're doing is you're not getting the impetus. You pull your hand across. Lay on your back real quick. I'll okay. put you in. And then the thing you did that usually only high level guys know that is you didn't feel good about your choke. You kept your ear tight and you reset your elbow. You yeah. know that you're doing that. They tell you to do that? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Whoever taught you really did a good job. Good. They just didn't tell you the finish. Got it. Right? So you're squeezing. What did you do here? I'm elbowing my hands here. Watch this. I'm going to pull my hands towards me. Yeah. You feel the impetus of power? 100%. Right? So once I go here, I want to make this noose as small as possible. I pull my hands this way as I'm driving into you. Got it. Like this, so you did everything right, except for you squeezed. Got it. What I'm doing is here is the squeeze, it's all my muscle making it smaller. Okay. And if I don't choke you out in the next three seconds, I'm gonna get tired to let go and then you're back to normal, right? Got it. So I go here, I just start taking up space. Got it. So we're like literally, if I eventually just cut your head off, right? Got it. The mentality, sure. right? Chest to the mat. Drop your chest to the mat, get off your knees. Yeah, now watch, That's pull your hands, pull your head up though. There you go, go ear to ear, like you're looking at him, and now drive your hands towards you. There you go, that's it, Keep, that's the way to go. And then hold it, yes. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. That's the choke. Got right it. Now look, a choke is a noose. Yeah. How do I make this noose small? That's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you can make it small this way, but it's a lot of muscle and you're gonna get tired. Sure. You're burning yourself out. If you fail, here, I'm using energy, but I'm never, I'm never giving it back to you. Every inch I gain, you're never getting it back. You don't have to take a break for a second because you didn't tap. Okay, I'll keep going now. Compact it, compact it, compact it. And that last part is I'm looking at him because if you're too low, I want his tricep to be here. So you're over the top of the arm and I'm looking at him to drive. Again, it makes you, so yes. The base is gonna choke me. The first one is I don't want that to be here. So I just put my arm back, right? That's why you don't want the space there. If I can get my arm back, and that also too the reason I'm showing you that is you see how important it is that when he's here, when he goes here to here, so I can't get my arm on it. over and easily hug him, right? Yeah. Okay, here, one of the best ones I can do is to go ahead and run out of it. This gets me out, okay. right? People will show this stuff where they hook their leg because now it's holding my arm down, right? You know, that triangle and do this stuff. And then usually that gives me enough to pull his shoulder down that I can now get my arm back over the top, right? Okay. But I'm still on bottom, so that's like, eh, it's okay as a last resort. Ideally, the best is to throw my feet. Okay. So he's choking me, I'm gonna throw my feet away. Got it. So then I can end up on top. Interesting. Yeah, so okay. I threw my feet, boom, I tell him to take the hips. Okay. So throw your feet away. 
Go to your knees. That right here, pitch his arm. Look, now, see that? Now you're on top of his ass. Got it. Yep, and there it is. Ah, ah. Got yep. It. Push his arm down. Yes, yeah, so once on. you get to go back to that position, sir. If you wanted to, now you can take this hand and force it. Force his hand, no, push his hand down and trap it with your leg. Boom, oh, now you got a I can drill him. No defense. No defense. <laughs> That's funny. That'd be brutal. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you the basic real quick. How do you get, lay down real fast? Okay. Like, worst case scenario, right? You guys get, you guys are in a fight, he falls down. This is very schoolyardish. High level guys don't typically, well, let's use yours to say this here. This is a movie you can experience from really low level guys or really high level guys that know how to hold the position, right? Okay. Because technically I've given up my underhook. But if I was here like holding you, like what's your go-to from here? I would say, that, what, the leg throw that we just did? Oh yeah, that's one I could go to, so you feel it. That's the proper way. Okay, so, come right here. Yeah, so the first thing you do is if I throw you, if we go from our feet, what most likely is gonna happen is momentum of energy, right? Okay. So if I threw you right now, we landed here, yep. you're gonna keep the momentum going. You just don't throw it sideways. Throw me over your shoulder and I'll do it to you once so you feel it too. So when you go here, connect, now watch bridge and throw me over my left arm. There you go. Now watch, I should really do it to you too, right? So you have me in a headlock. Okay. Scoot the legs through. Yeah, you're here, right? If I tried to lift you sideways, it's never gonna happen. If I bridge, well, maybe not. Chance to get you over. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My old coach was from Brazil. He told me he goes, you, they didn't teach big guys jujitsu. Really? You don't do that. You don't do that. Why? It's like, it's like giving wings to a serpent. <laughs> it's like it's already dangerous. Why are you gonna give it wings too? Like that, you know? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> And make a pillow for him. So put this hand on your leg again. There you go. That's, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm fine. Okay. But it's a good I'll, I'll do this if it's... Okay, okay, I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, no, don't. No. And you don't have to think it was a hurting position. When I grip you here, I'm holding you. Okay. This is a holding position for you, pin. Okay. And then when you go and want to try to suck his life out, twist his head up and drive your ribs into him. There we go, yep. And then hold, yep. There we go. Okay. And trust me, you know, I've seen high level black belts who still get tapped with this. Got it. Yeah, you, you guys are strong and powerful and you know how to keep your weight back. It's a menacing hold. It's just that smaller guys have a hard time doing it because they're, they're not heavy enough to hold the guy down. So like there's some things, like, it's funny, there's something small guys can do very well. So, yeah. from, from this, right, if I got here, when would I identify like, here. Yeah, okay. now you got your now move. You got now you got your move. So then I wouldn't try to do that. No, because you already so have your choke. But if I don't have here. Now you sit through, yes. Now take this hand Put and try to grab first. your side. He's trying to fight you now. Here we go, this is how it always starts. There it is, there it is. Nice. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see when I put my butt down, I put my butt up. I put my butt down. So when I first hit the headlock, then I bring my arm. The first thing I'm thinking is to get to here. Right? Now look, yeah. right now my butt's resting on the ground. My butt's in the air. See? Be pressure there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not even doing the lean yet. Where you I'm here. And then I can start cranking, see the shoulder? Yeah. That's what so you're doing. controlling that. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So I'm in here. Boom. And then I lift up and then because I'm not squeezing, I just gotta make sure that that elbow doesn't come out and nothing comes over my head. Got it. I'll be here forever. So if I get there, or this there. is gonna be a game. You have to hip into me to get out of this. You gotta free this arm. So then hip, like watch, put your feet on the mat and bump me. And then as I come, yeah, see that there, pull your elbow down. Now I'm not. Now I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna scramble. See how I said? Ah, sure. So if I yeah, exactly. Let's get out of it, quick. So that elbow getting out's a big deal. The way we were all taught was that, you know, I'm in here, and then I get your arm, you know, I go in for the Kimura, you straighten your arm, and I'm gonna try to do this. Yeah, see, that fucking hurts, right? But yeah. If we were fighting, you're not gonna tap to that. It's not, I, I don't think I can really break your arm. Got so it. how David does it is I put it on the crook, my, make a V with my arm, so I have so much more room, then I go higher up the wrist, <laughs> then I can break it. Oh, yeah. You can feel the difference. Yeah. Walk yes. your lever. Yeah, yeah, higher yeah. fulcrum. Yeah. That one, you 
Well, too, so we'll try it. Thanks for reminding me. Right, so. Well, even flexible people sometimes will let it bend, and their hand yeah. will really hit the mat. But what we're doing is we can watch. So see what he's doing, the differences. You'll get this one, too. So if you have a straight arm bar, it's going to be over here. Any kind of, especially the amount of Connors, yeah. guys are here with you. This is where you see it the most. Guys are here, I punch my arm straight, because that's the defense. And usually the elbow, here's where I'm going to push up. See how he made a V with his hand? Yeah. I'm in trouble now. So now I have all this space to break his hand. If I'm here, go, like, go the other way. Even, a inches, even so. as stiff as I am with my arm joints, because of all those grappling, my hands can't go straight anymore. Yeah. I survived this. I mean, it hurts. I kind of lift my shoulder up. It hurts. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. If I'm tapping up. Here, I'm going to tap, because it's a big room. That's crazy. My setup for, actually for my Kimura, will come off them doing the right thing, right? They're framing on me. So if I want my Kimura here, I'll throw almost like a hook over. So I'm turning to get that bite that Frank talked about. I'll use the same setup if I want to fish for an Americana, right? But then I'm gonna like, uh, I call it like cool guy. I go in here like I'm combing my hair. And then once I go here, now my first concern is making sure that I'm actively hooking here. My second concern is elbow to the mat. From here, I can take my time. As long as I'm nice and tight, I try to keep this elbow like uh, at an L. So I anchor on his head here, and I have a hook grip here. Now my other hand, it's the same thing we just did for the Kimura, our figure four grip. Once I'm here, the only detail we have here that really makes it tight is your motorcycle, and then I pull his knee to his hip. That's the part people mess up. I'm here, swim in, catch. Arms or the top, right? So from here, I'm not just lifting, right? See, yeah. light on you right. Does that? Yeah. I'm gonna pull your elbow to your hips here. Okay. And as I go up, then I can yeah. start adding pressure. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And so the defense is you're gonna punch your arms straight. So that's why we wanna hook our hands. Okay. So that I, it's like, again, it's like a bar. I wanna get over the top of it. If I hold the bar this way, you're gonna punch out easily. Got it. Got it. And so that's when that other one comes into play too. So when you're here and you straighten it, you're giving me back to this one. Got it. And, chase it. and then if you rotate your hand down to your hip, this is Kimura. Right? So I'm playing right into that yeah. hand. They're all sister submissions. You can change. Yeah, go up, you gotta straighten your arm and straighten arm bar. So, so yeah, you just either way once you get I'm there. playing whack-a-mole now. Got it. Left hand. Boom. Okay? You're up with the mat. Now put your thumb the other way. See you grab his wrist? Yep, grab it that way. Now key lock is you reach under his arm and grab your own wrist. Twist your knuckles like a motorcycle grip and put your hands down. Yeah, now what? Yeah, hold that because he's going to try to punch his arm straight. So the more your knuckles are over the top of his wrist, the harder it is for him to punch out. If you rotate your hand the other way, watch, he punches out, he's fighting your fingers. Got it. Most people that do a problem. Okay. So, so now you rotate but, your knuckles. But here, yep. yeah, that's better. I feel strong. So now, don't think twist very gently. Think, I'm going to keep sliding until I get his elbow to his... Like that. Yep. Down. Like there. Okay. Yep. And he's, that's a... Flexible Most heavy weights I've ever seen. So once you kind of get here and put this, that's yep. a lot of pressure. Yes. And then you start pulling down. But the worst thing to do would be to try to open this yeah, up. Yeah, some people they do is they basically you put your weight to your left side because you're trying to twist and lift your but if you go for a twisting motion, like your your right elbow comes up off the mat and you're trying to twist, there's a chance that he can see he might go yeah. move. You don't have to. Yeah. You just so then if, if, if this did come loose. He punches it straight. So now grab your Right trap. Put your elbow on the mat. There you go. Now watch. Reach up and grab his thumb and push his arm down. It's here. Yep. Like that. Your elbows are a little loose. Yeah, go a little lower below his elbow. Yeah, there you go. You want the elbow there? Yeah, yeah, right on the joint. So and pull. Right now you use your fingers, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now. So we got to get lower yeah. on the wrist and higher on the arm. Yeah. We'll palm, so you're going to bite. Yeah. The so first time like this, yeah. the first time we did, you had the elbow here, then you so adjusted to too go low. Here. Yeah. You were too low, then you adjust and you're right on. Right to on get the there. Good stuff. I love it. I love it. Yeah. You want to do just a touch of that, um, like the, the head, uh, more of like a head, behind the head lock. Oh, you want, you want to do that? Like that we were talking about. Pitch head. Here. Okay, yep. So whatever arm is under the head, is it his thumb down? Okay. The hand on the chest, I'm going palm towards me because it keeps my elbow in. Okay. If I grab like this, this elbow could have a hole and he might get under it. Okay. I might, you know, if I get lazy. Got By it. me doing this, I now walk to the frame, him exiting that side. Okay. Okay. So this is off of like 
you shot on the guy, you ran him back, you don't want, you know, you, 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 you don't want to continue the shot, we're going to come up and get air. Okay. You come up through with an underhook. So I'm taking my shot, I'm trying to take him down, I don't like what I'm seeing, so I'm going to come up his body. I have the underhook, right? But I just yeah. connect my hands. Okay, so it's like this. Correct. Go with the underhook, so you see where you're going. Yeah, so here, now just walk up to the underhook, and the head kicks. There you go. And guess what? You can either do a gable grip, like you're doing. You can do an S grip, that's fine. And actually, as big as you are, it might give you more mobility, so it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is if the arm that's around the head, or in front of the head, has to be this way. I have to be looking at myself. Did you see how, what it does to my elbow? If I do this, my elbow flares out. Yeah. So, so, so from this, you just hold here, and then I'm imagining we're just gonna start through that. Yeah, you can knee him once. Actually, the best knee to knee him with is your right knee. Okay. I know that doesn't make sense. He's like, oh, I can hit him in his gut right here. The thing is, if you hit him with a left knee right now, and he catches it, there's a no. chance, okay. right? Now, whereas if, there's no way he could catch your right knee. So the better way to do that is just, especially with this move, is just go slow. Like, just be menacing. So like, I'll go real slow right here. I'm in here, bro. we got the underhook. I knee. I step in, I go. Because he's gonna go there anyway. Yeah, and then see how I open up my hands? So we land. So what happens is, I'm connecting my hands as tight as they allow me to be. And this is all I get, this is all I get. I squeeze my elbows together and I pull my hands down this way, and I'm attaching my body to it. that starts to suck for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. So watch, feel this? So this is what you're doing, which is menacing. Yeah. So what I want to do is be here. I'll try it. Yeah, you feel how like by me doing this. And then I'm trying to turn the corner, keeping you up balance. Yeah. You have the unhook on me, push against the cage, like this sucks, right? So, I'm going to come and try to switch out. So I can get away. So you're going to go that way. Yeah, that makes sense to go that way with my hips forward. Sure. Whereas like, hypothetically, you're in your, like say you have me here, or oh, going to my arm. Okay. So, so you're on my head, see, so, Essentially, that's why the headlock is dangerous on the ground because you had me here. Yeah. Nothing was protecting my hips from coming out. Got it. See, I'm taking your back essentially. Yep. If you have an underhook, I can't do that. See how? So I'm, I'm putting pressure. Yeah, through. that's the whole. Got it. That's this is. So, so then, here. so then I would, now I would want to connect my head here too. Yeah. It's like even before you do that. Yeah. You just have the underhook. Put your hand on bicep. Right, yeah, controlling here, and then kind of like wedge your left hip, your right hip to face me, like you're holding the door. Yeah, this sucks. This should be your plan A, because you should be able to hold this forever. Okay. As far as the amount of energy you're using. This should not feel like it takes any energy. No. In fact, while you have this locked up, I should be able to lift my feet off the ground and not fall. See how, like, that sucks. Yeah. You're essentially carrying me, but you don't. Not, not putting a lot of energy. No. Just a slow drill, feel it real quick. Sure. Or do it. No. I'll, I'll dance with you first. Okay. So what? <laughs> Here, left leg forward. Yep, so watch it, Greg. I can't see that well. So, Paul, like, I'm like, fucking. Right? That's the part that freaks me. Dude, with pause. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah, perfect. As we did like a dance. Yes. Boom. Why don't you feel this? Attach your hands. Head to my ear. And whatever side you pick, that's the ear you throw. So, if you're going to go towards your right, give me your right ear. Get your knee behind me. Oh yeah, I'm going down. Now, step away, give me room. I'm falling into the cage, now I'm gonna fall. There you go. Thank you, brother. No, man, fuck. Oh, that's awesome. You don't understand this easy, because really, being smart helps a ton. Sure. It's like, oh, if you have someone explains to you, like, you're just doing this. Yeah. If they give you the right reads, objectives. I hate when people are just like, ah, oh, just figure it out, you know? Yes, yeah, yeah. Or be in shape, I hate that. Sure, I love it. It should be in shape, but that shouldn't be the answer. Yeah. There has to be a way to do things properly, and then being in shape helps. Absolutely. It shouldn't be the tip of the spear. Yeah, no, that's great, brother. Thank, Thank you so much. That. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, that is Frank Mir showing me a few tricks. He has, I'm sure, probably forgotten more things than I know at this point. It's an absolute legend in the fight game. Appreciate his time. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a little behind the scenes look at this. Appreciate all these guys jumping in. Uh, Nick Best, you know, showing up. He's got, he's got on his, uh, his rash guard, you know what I'm saying? Came to play, so 
Oh, what do you think? Yeah. Good? Very good. Yeah. I think I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. I really don't think they understand what they just bit off. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be fun for me to watch. I love it. So thanks for yeah. coming in. We got a lot to learn, a lot of work to do. You know, and that's, that's the way you should approach anything. But I'm having fun with it, man. It's nice to be in the Performance Institute here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, good energy, bro. Very good energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Hope you guys are doing amazing. For now, go out and be great. We'll check you guys later.